What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today, we need to take a look at the release schedule for the One Piece TCG. And this is something we're going to do, you know, fairly regularly on this channel, like I do for the Pokemon TCG on my other channel, PTCG Radio, and I do for other games on here, because basically, we need to. This is something we need to keep looking at on a semi-regular basis, because some things are going to release... Some things are going to be announced and revealed. And some things are going to be, you know, re revealed a while ago. But now we're going to have more information about them. Good. Good. So we should have just seen the release. We have just seen the release of Starter Deck 5, the film Starter Deck. I don't intend going into much detail about this, honestly, because we've done this. We've talked about it. I've done an opening. Jobs are good and it is the film starter deck with the Shanks leader and a bunch of other cards. It is awesome. But like I say, we've, um, well, we've done this, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, we've done this. So let's move on instead and have a look at the next release, which is going to be on March the 10th, where we get starter deck six, which is the Navy starter deck. Although it's actually called Absolute Justice in English. That is the subtitle they've chosen to give it. And this is a, a pretty big deal, honestly, ladies and gentlemen. And the reason it is such a big deal is because this is a starter deck which is bringing black into the One Piece TCG. And that means we've then got five colours rather than the four we've got at the moment. This is cool. Uh, we know we haven't seen the reveals for this starting yet for obvious reasons. But we have got Sakazuki, who is your leader. And once per turn, pay free, treasure card from your hand, and KO a zero-cost character. And this is basically what Black tends to do. It is taking advantage of your opponent's low-cost characters. So if we look at the designated super rares, we've got Smoker. This character cannot be KO'd by card effects. And Don X1, as long as there is a character that costs zero in play, yours or your opponent's, you gain double attack. Which is cool. We've then got Monkey to Garp, activate main, trash a card in your hand, rest this character, and KO up to one of your opponent's characters of a cost of four or less. So there's lots of KOing characters, there's lots of reducing the cost, and frankly, a lot of fun to be had. You know, the stage is Marineford, on play, give one of your opponent's characters minus one to their cost during this turn, and activate main, you may rest this stage, and if your leader has the Navy type, Give one of your opponent's characters minus one to their cost during this turn. And then you start taking advantage with the kind of cards I've already shown you. It's a cool starter deck. And, and Black isn't really going to be top tier just based on this starter deck. We need the next set. But wonderful news, ladies and gentlemen. Because on the same day, on March the 10th, we've got Paramount War. Uh, incidentally... March the 10th is now, as you've seen from the images on the screen, these are now confirmed starter. These are confirmed dates. Before, they were distributor dates that we were pretty sure were real, but we had to wait and see for official confirmation. We have now had the official confirmation, and we can say with absolute certainty that, yes, this is the release date. It is coming out on March the 10th. And there's just a lot of very, very, very cool stuff in, in this particular set. It's a good set. It is a set that will have a big impact on the metagame. Blue gets a big bump because Emporio Ivankov is an amazing leader. At the end of your turn, if you've got zero cards in hand, you draw two, which is pretty good. Red becomes an amazing deck with the introduction of cards like the giant Edward Newgate. One of your leaders gains 2,000 still to start on the next turn on play. And then you cannot add cards from your life to your hand by effects during this turn. But Don X2, when attacking, KO an opponent's character with 3,000 or less power. And with Don X2, you're at 12,000 power. That's pretty huge. Of course, there is also the Edward Newgate leader that is 6,000 power, more than any we've seen. And 6 life, more than any we've seen. But at the end of your turn, you add a card from the top of your life area to your hand. So, yeah, you, you, you kind of start running out very, very quickly. We do have a new Manga Rare in the set. That is Portgus the Ace. And your Super Rares are Kazan. Which, incidentally, on your turn, all of your opponent's characters get minus five to their cost. 
add on play you KO an opponent's character with a cost of zero. I think this is one of the cards that makes black a lot better. And you've got the Utah that on play, Don minus two, your leader and all your characters gain a thousand power till the start of your next turn. So, yeah, this is, and we can't go through the whole set, right? We don't have time to go through the whole set now, obviously. But those are just some of the highlights we see on the set. Some of the, some of the cards you are going to be looking out for. It's exciting, ladies and gentlemen. It's very exciting. Oh, and if I could indulge just for a second, check out this wonderful Akira Igawa artwork on the Monkey to Luffy, on that alternate art. It's beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, after that, we need to go to a mixture of distributor dates and official reveals because we know that Big Mum Pirates is coming in Q2 2023. We unfortunately have not been given a huge amount of detail about Big Mum Pirates. That is the yellow starter deck. The starter deck, which is introducing yellow, shockingly enough, into the One Piece TCG. And that's a little bit sad, frankly, ladies and gentlemen. But we do have a distributor date. And they've always been right up to now, so it's coming on the 30th of June. To be clear, the 30th of June is not an official date. That is a date we're getting from distributors. But I've been following distributor listings for Bandai games, including One Piece, for a while now. And their hit rate so far is 100%. They've just been hitting really well. So you know what? I am willing to believe them. So what we've got with the yellow starter deck is Charlotte Linlin. That is your leader. Dawn X2, when attacking, you may add a car from the top or bottom of your life to your hand. And if your life is at two or less, you can place up to one card from your hand to the top of your life area. And this is what yellow does. It manipulates your life. It can add life. It can take life. Gaining advantages, obviously, by doing so. And this just becomes very interesting. Your designated super rares, you've got Charlotte Katakuri. On play, you may look at one life card from the top of your or your opponent's life and put it back at the top or bottom i.e. either making sure you've got a trigger or your opponent doesn't. And then if you've got less life than your opponent, you gain rush. And we've got cards that can take life, so that's a good thing. The other one we've got is Charlotte Linlin. And on play, your opponent has to either trash a card from the top of their life or put a card from the top of your deck on top of your life. I.e. either you gain a life or they lose a life. Either way, that kind of sounds like a win to me. And then you've got the stage, Big Mama, Queen Mama Chanta. Activate main, rest this stage. You may add one card from the top or bottom of your life to your hand. And place up to one of your characters at a cost of three on top of the owner's life area face up. And then you've got stuff like Charlotte Brulee, who is a free cost, which has got a trigger to play. And also has blocker. So you basically get a free blocker when your opponent takes a life. And you see where we're going with this. That's a general theory of how yellow works. And it's looking pretty gosh darned exciting. It's your standard starter deck. But it is still extremely cool. But we get a bit of deja vu. Because in the same way that starter deck 6 comes out on the same day as OPO2. Starter deck 7 comes out on the same day as OPO3. Pillars of Strength. Or at least, yeah, we, we call it Pillars of Strength. In Japan, it's actually called Mighty Enemy. I'm, I'm going to let you decide which of those you prefer. It doesn't really matter if I'm honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. But, you know, just so you know, we've got a couple of options. Now, again, this date is not official. But come on, we know it definitely is. And once again, we've got a very interesting set. Now, at the time of recording, that is not quite out in Japan. But... Even if it is by the time you listen to this, we're not going to have had long. So we don't really know what is good from Pillars of Strength. We don't have enough information to really make a decision as to what is good. We know that there is a new manga rare, that is your Soj King. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that terribly. And then we've got Charlotte Katakuri. They are your two secret rares for the set. And we know that we've got the new style of wanted posters as new kinds of secret rares or alternate arts, or whatever you want to call them, which is extremely cool. And yeah, if I may be so bold as to say so, this is something that is very, very much worth getting a little bit excited about. We like this. Outside of that, I mean, Nami is definitely the thing that is most exciting me with this particular set. It's a leader whereby when your deck reaches zero, you win the game rather than losing. And then we've got a bunch of support cards which basically aim to mill yourself and lose. 
which is kind of hilarious. Uh, we've got a Charlotte Lin Lin, which is a dual color yellow and black leader, which is very, very interesting. And we've got Arlong, who is a dual color green and yellow leader. So we've got some cool dual color leaders coming along as well. Part yellow, but you know, this is the first set that's probably got yellow in. So that does kind of make a lot of sense. And Ace gets a leader. I don't know. Maybe that Ace leader is going to be good. Who knows, ladies and gentlemen? Who knows? Point is, this is shaping up to be another good set. But also, we're never going to know exactly how good it is until it actually releases. And we all get a good chance to sit down and have a play with it. And that's basically what we've got in terms of releases in English. That, that's what we're looking at here. That is, if you go on the site, they're the kind of things that are listed and all the information you need to know about them. Although, we do have a bunch of other stuff coming from Japan. And so we can kind of flick over to Japan now and, and kind of take it from there, so to speak. Because we know that they have got Starter Decks 8 and 9, which feature Luffy and Yamato. Now, these are coming out on the 25th of March, and that is a confirmed date, incidentally. And this is interesting because on the front of the Luffy deck, we see a Luffy character. But we have actually had confirmation that there is a Luffy leader in the deck as well. But for some reason, they put the character on the front. And for the life of me, I'm not entirely sure why. But we know we've got a Luffy deck and we've got a Yamato deck. We know they're coming out on the 25th of March. As it stands at the moment, we know basically nothing about them. But we know that's when they're coming out and that's lovely. But we've also got a hint of OP04 coming out on the 27th of May. Now again, the information we have about OP04 is... um, Well, it's not much if I'm honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. It is not very much at all. Sorry about that. But we do have the release date, which is lovely. And we do have, you know, some basic information. Um, th there's going to be new combinations of multicolor cards. The theme is going to be Alabaster and Dress Rosa, which is kind of cool. But that that that's basically it. And, you know, front of the pack, we got Luffy and Trafalgar Law, who are clearly going to be two of the most used characters in the card game. So that really doesn't give us much extra information. I'm sorry. But then we've also seen Starter Deck 10. Now, again, the amount of information we have on Starter Deck 10 is extremely limited. And that is very important. We need to bear that in mind. We don't know much about Starter Deck 10. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. But we do have a little bit of basic information. We know it's coming out on the 29th of July. And again, that is a confirmed release date. And we know that it is going to be three times the price of a regular starter deck. Regularly, they are 990 yen. This one's going to be 27, 2970, which is exactly three times the price of a regular starter deck. We know we're getting two replacement cards. We don't know what they are. I've heard some people suggest they might be leaders, but leaders are a big deal. We only get like six to eight in a set. So I wouldn't imagine they'd be extra leaders. That's too big a deal for extra cards in a starter deck. And then you get a card case. We don't entirely know what that is. I think there's some really, really exciting information to come from this. We just have no idea what that information is. As always, the second we know more, I will let you know. I'm nice like that. That's the kind of thing I do. And that's basically what we've got at the moment in terms of what's been revealed, what's being released, what we've got to look forward to. And this is good. This is exciting. The fact that we've got two sets and two starter decks coming up in English. Well, and then actually with eight and nine, we've got even more. But over in Japan, they've got eight and nine coming up, plus ten, plus the fourth set. And frankly, there is an awful lot to look forward to. The One Piece TCG train is rolling. There's a lot coming out. There's a lot to get excited about. And I don't think it's unfair to say that I am very, very excited. But I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord and chat about anything you want, and just generally have a jolly old time. But by far the most important thing as always, 
Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.